What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video where we're going to be talking about the match pass. So a few people have been asking me about this. Obviously every month or every six weeks there is a new match pass. You can get to it if you are a newcomer by going to the missions tab across the, uh, the main navigation bar and then you're going to have your match pass here. Now the, the availability for this match pass started on the 6th of July and it's going to run until the 3rd of August. So August 3rd. Um, so it's just under a month. Now these kind of vary in time. Uh, sometimes they're a bit longer, sometimes they're a little bit shorter. So yeah, you do have your regular, your value and your premium. Now we're going to actually do a training uh, guide and a review of these two players because they're quite beastly lads. We are going to get into them, but these are premium uh, packs or premium match passes, right? So you've got the value and the premium, okay? So to unlock these, it's going to cost you 250 coins to unlock the value match pass and 500 for the premium. But these prices will be doubled, right? The prices you're seeing here are 50% off because I have never bought a match pass before on my Road to Glory account. Uh, so if you have bought a match pass before, this will be 500 for the value match pass and 1,000 for the premium, okay? So as usual, I mean, a couple of highlights in this, it's the same, you know, rinse and repeat. You get your four-star uh, contract across the board with the reg regular and the value and your three-star uh, match contract or player contract or nominating contract with 10 games played. Now you can play co-op, you can play friend match, you can play online divisions, you can play against the AI, you can do the events. Anything you do is gonna get this, right? And this is the real key one here is the five star nominating contract that everyone gets for free. If you do get the value pack, you're gonna get a five star here. You're going to get 50 coins again there, another 50 there, another 50 there. And then, of course, you are going to continue to get those 50 coins and get your 200 coins back with this topping out at 100 uh, here, right? So they have, or sorry, at 75. This one, the premium continues on with your 50 coins, your 50 coins, and you get a few more five-star nominating contracts and contract renewals, right? But the big kind of selling point of these lads, I suppose, is the fact that you do get these players instantly. So if you buy the value one, you're getting, you know, Ben White, which is a pretty beastly right back, especially if you're starting off. It's a nice introductory uh, type card, right? So we're actually going to open up eFootball DB here, and we're going to show you Ben White, and we're going to show you a training guide, and then we're going to cover uh, Williams, right? Nico Williams. So both are good players. I won't say, you know, that they're absolutely amazing players, depending on where you play them uh, in your squad. But for me, uh, a road to glory squad where I haven't spent a single penny and I've just been using free coins. I mean, the fact that I can earn another 50 coins in game next week or the week after, even just by logging in and be able to unlock this value match pass and get Ben White, it is quite beastly, especially when I can reclaim all of these because anything that you see with an arrow, a downward facing arrow, like the blue little white logo arrow in the top right and corner of these boxes, they, they stack. So if I buy the value pack, I will unlock instantly all of these that had the arrow pointing down. So in case you are wondering that. But anyway, let's kick on with the training guide for these and whether we think it's worth it or not. So the first thing I like about Ben White is he does have 27 levels, right? So a lot of these cards that have been released and that are released over the last couple of weeks, um, usually you saw with these cards like this one that you saw here from the eFootball Championship Pro Pack, only had 22 levels to go with an 83 rating as a center back. This Ben White, the break breakout stars, is actually down as a right back, but he can still play center back as well. So he can you can see here that he's, he goes to an 83 overall. It's just that the card is down as a right back, so he's 82 rated. So you can actually train Ben White very nicely into a center back because he's got pretty much everything that you could possibly want apart from a couple of key player skills, which we'll get to in a second, right? So if you would take a look at his card here, you will see that he doesn't have blocker and he doesn't have a uh, sliding tackle, but he does have everything else, heading, acrobatic clearance, man mark and interception and fighting spirit. So if I'm going to be training him up as a right back, I do want to kind of max out his, um, his levels, right? So as I said here, um, Ben White is the type of player that this player form level here that you have up, uh, or these arrows here that you have up, needs to be updated. That should be updated by now, but we'll just max him out at the 27 levels there. There is a couple of more extra to go there, but in game, he is actually, as you see here, he has 27 levels to go, okay? So that's just something to keep an eye on there um, if you wanted to. Sorry, lads, that was actually my bad. I just had to refresh the page for some reason. It hadn't loaded. Uh, so now you can see there, the 27 levels are there. We are going to train him up as a center back, right? So if we are going to do that, I do want to max out 
pretty much max out his his uh, his defensive skills, which are going to be insane when you do max them out uh, here. You're still going to have a couple of uh, stats that we need to tweak depending on your play style. But I always like to get my center backs, especially center backs that you can play a little bit of ball with, to at least 75 speed and at least 75 acceleration. Dribbling, passing, shooting, I'm not concerned about that as a center back in this situation. But we will knock on four more of our free stats here um, with the goalkeeper one stat to bring his jump up to 84 okay then from there you can kind of decide right i'm going to pop in another few into defense and you can get him to 14 levels on defending and you can get another two into aerial strength which is going to bring your jump up to 86 your acceleration and speed to 75 which is insane header is 77 but with, with that heading stat and with the acrobatic clearance that is going to be more than enough with that height of 186 cm and then look at the defensive stats now you will see here that his card is down at an, as an 88 overall right back but as a center back he's going to be down as a 95 so for a card that you can get from this pack i think it is a very very good value match pass if you are to go that route especially if you have got the 50 percent off as i do there i mean he is a kind of I won't say an end game level center back for me because of his unwavering form. He doesn't have that, which is a bit of a bit of a pity on this card. If he did have unwavering form, he would be a really, really nice card. But similar to Tommy Yasu is that he's down as a right back, but he's a beast center back. Now, Nico Williams is also an interesting choice as well because he does have 32 levels to go, which is quite nice. And the thing that I like about him is he's just a very easy to play with winger right you've got everything that you could possibly want apart from one touch pass but you don't really need that double touch he doesn't have um he doesn't have the a couple of key stats such as true passing if you want to play a bit of a passing move with him or pinpoint crossing or anything like that but he has double touch scotch move soul control outside curler and of course you can always add stuff to him as well now does he stack up right does he stack up um in line with other wingers i would say that he does because if you are if you are struggling with wingers lads i would definitely look at the stats that they have and i would i would kind of i would kind of make sure that you have at least 90 in the key stats if you can right if you can and this is just a bit of a bit of a tip right if you can't hit 90 on balance if you can only go sometimes with the players that are a bit taller um their acceleration goes up really high but it doesn't stack evenly with the balance and the offensive awareness right so if that is the case i would always recommend now with the current gameplay which is july um 2023 with the last patch i would definitely recommend boost up his physical contact a little bit it doesn't have to be a massive amount but if you do have a couple of extra points try and get it into the 65 66 zone because he will get a boost with the player form arrow and most of these players you're going to be using are for a designated purpose you know as i said it always if you want a fast winger buy a fast winger if you want a really really good passer buy a good passer and make his passing way better than it needs to be because that's his role in your squad right but yeah we're going to overcompensate a lot with the speed 90 speed 95 acceleration 94 dribbling and then you just pick what else you want i would preferably probably keep this at um a maxed out version of him and go 97 acceleration to bring the balance up as high as we possibly could and i would also max out his dribbling to go 96 dribbling 97 acceleration and 82 balance but we are going to have that little bit of physical contact as well in hindsight, I mean, if you are looking at it, you could probably just pop one more in to get 98 acceleration. It's probably a little overkill. Uh, you don't really need to do that. You could pop two more into lower body to get 92 speed and 75 stamina. I would say that is the ultimate build if you're looking for just a run and gun winger that you can swing off after maybe 60 minutes or else bring on with 30 minutes left. So all in all, lads, I would have to say that this match pass is kind of worth it if you are starting off and if you can get it for the 250 or the 500 coins i don't think that these players are going to be godsends for you if uh, or god tier players if you are looking to you know make an impact if you've got a lot of epics and legends but all in all i do think that the value match pass is probably the best i think ben white is a fantastic center back and that is where you should probably train him so that is it for me i'll be back quite soon with another video hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll talk to you later peace